Hi everyone, this is Paolo from DMB Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create the bass line from the track White Flag BIP by Delta Heavy. So the original sounds like this. And this is our recreation inside of Serum. But before we get started, I gotta tell you that only 50% of people who watch your videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking one of our videos, consider subscribing. It's free and it helps us build more free content for you in the future. So here I have Serum with an initialized patch. But first, let's take a look at the piano roll. So this is our sequence. You can copy notes if you want to follow along with the tutorial. So now let's jump back into Serum. So the first thing we need to do is to create that cool emphasis on certain harmonics and the lows. So if we listen to the original track, there's a really cool overtone kind of in the midst that is creating a pretty interesting harmony with the fundamental. And so we're going to manually create that with the Serum Wavetable Editor. So let's click on the pen button right here to access the Wavetable Editor. And then let's start adding some harmonics. So the first one we want to add is a fundamental, which will create a sine wave. Then let's add the octave of that one, a seventh, and then let's experiment. That one doesn't sound so cool. This one's better, but it's not that interesting. This one's much better. All right, so we're going to keep this shape. If you don't know how to read this window, basically the first green bar that we added is the fundamental harmonic, which is going to match the frequency of whatever is the lowest note that we're playing. In this case, the lowest note that we're playing is an F. And all of the different bars after it represent a whole number that is going to multiply that initial frequency. For example, if our first harmonic is around 40 hertz, which will be or F0, then the second one is going to be around 80. And then the third one is going to multiply those 40 by 3. So it's going to be around 120 hertz. And then harmonic number 6 is going to multiply that 40 hertz by 6. So we're going to have a value of around 240 hertz. So if we open an EQ, we can see the different harmonics that we added. And wherever I hover my mouse is going to tell us the frequency. So let's see. The first harmonic, it's around 44 hertz. And so the next one should be around 88 because we added the octave of this one. And here we have 87, which, yeah, is around 88. And then the next one, 130. And then the second one we said around 240 or maybe even more because of those four hertz that I, that I didn't add by mistake. So yeah, 260. And also one thing to notice is that each of these harmonics represents a note. For example, the fundamental harmonic is going to be F. The octave of that harmonic is going to be F1, but then the third one is probably going to be something like a seventh, for example, C. So let's play again this bass. So here we have F, then we have F1, and probably C, which is the fifth of F. And now let's look at the next one, and we got C3. So we have kind of a cool harmony happening on this bass, which will be the two first harmonics are F which will be the fundamental, and the two upper harmonics are C, which will be the fifth. So we're creating a really cool harmony inside the bass. And as you can see, all of these harmonics have different levels, which match the shape that we created in Serum. So that will be the fundamental harmonics that we need in order to create this bass. Next, we're going to add another oscillator to fill the space with more harmonics. So for that, we're going to use a saw wave, but we're going to increase the unison and the tune it a lot. And then we're going to filter this second saw wave. Let's use a steeper filter. So we still keep those really cool harmonics, but the low end is fuller. Let's also add a soft to boost the fundamental. And next, let's head into the effects. 
And the first effect we're going to add is a hyper. We're going to leave it like that, which is one that simple stereo effect. We're going to add a bit of distortion, but instead of tooth distortion, which adds harmonics, we're going to use soft clip, which is a much more smooth mode. Then we're going to add a bit of chorus for the stereo effect and also for the movement. We want to make sure we turn on the high pass by clicking on this button right here and set it to around 300 hertz so we don't affect whatever is below that. Let's bring the mix down. And then let's add the compressor, which is going to work just to add gain to the sound. And next we're going to add a bit of reverb, but let's increase the low cut and let's bring the mix a bit lower. And so that is going to be our face. Now for the interesting pitch bendings, we're going to boost the range of the modulation here in the bottom left corner. And then we're going to play with the wheel on certain sections. For example, something like that, right? And now if you want to add more harmonics, you can change the filter. And even add noise. Depending on what you want for your track. So now let's put the sound back in the context of the track. So here's the original. And now here's a recreation. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. Once again, if you liked the video and you found it useful, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Join our Discord because we have a super cool community about drum bass production. Follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.